You are listening to WBHM Digital Broadcasting, Birmingham, Alabama. Reaching all the way back to 1948, Fate Magazine has brought you reports of the strange and unknown. All of them true. Fate Radio is carrying on that tradition. Here is your host of Fate Radio, Kat Hobson. Hello there and welcome to Fate Radio. I am Kat Hobson, your host, and I am so excited about tonight's show. It's not often that you get to celebrate such a fantastic friend joining you on your show, but I'm fortunate I get to tonight. My guest is Frank Lee. Frank is the founder of CASPER, Central Alabama Society for Paranormal Investigation and Research. He is the former host, who I hope is on hiatus and will be joining us at some point, of Paranormalities and Ponderings. It is a fantastic show that I'm looking forward to getting back. He is one of the best and most innovative paranormal researchers in the field, in my opinion. He has great ideas. He is not afraid to go old school. He does a really interesting group of experiments. We utilized some this weekend as we were doing investigations. And, you know, he just really is one of the nicest people on the planet. You just can't get much better than that. So I want you all to welcome and enjoy my friend Frank Lee. Hey Frank, how are you? I'm doing great, Kat. How how about yourself? So far so good. I am excited to be welcoming you. This is going to be great. Well, it's always a pleasure to to chat with you. You know, I um, always uh, enjoy our conversations and And I feel like I owe you like $20 for that intro. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I tell you what, you just, you know, we'll take that out and you put the 20 in your pocket. And if you decide to bring your show back, you talk to me first. How's that? Okay. You got a deal. (laughs) I think I I got the better end of that that stick. That, um, you, you know, that, that is something that, um, you you know, my schedule has been, pretty crazy of the past year or so. And, um, that, that is something I definitely miss. Um, Donald was, um, over at the house just, just the other night. Donald is our, um, operations director for, for Casper and handles all the stuff in the background that, that makes me look good when I go out and talk to people for about Casper. And me and him were just talking about how much, um, we're missing getting doing videos and a lot of that. Well, and um, you you do a good job, so obviously you would miss that. So, so yeah, we're um, we we really want to uh, get something going, you know, definitely because we miss it. Well, you know, he is such a riot anyway, and oh know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> When you were doing Controlled Chaos, your your Facebook Live show, I love that mm-hmm. so much because it's two tech guys who are sitting there with some of the best information and some of the most innovative combinations of equipment. It's just crazy. Mm-hmm. I mean, in a good way. I do need to well, qualify that. Well, you know, the that. funny thing is, I'll, on... Um... Well, you know, we we did this on the radio as well. Um, you know, we act goofy. We well, we're not really acting, but but you know, we <laughs> don't put much of a filter out there. You know, we just say first thing it pops in your mind, and um, you you know. But the good thing is, we try to you know to have fun with it. I, I told somebody the other day that we were making fun out of or making fun of serious paranormal research, but in a good way, (laughs) in a good way, absolutely in a good way. But 
you know, that's one of the best ways to teach. And you're a fantastic teacher. You, um, you well, do I, a great I, job of getting your ideas across. And that'll be another 20. Teasing. Right, right. Absolutely. <laughs> that, um, you, you know, honestly, I, you know, the, and this um, might sound strange to, to some people, but I enjoy the, the teaching aspect of it and helping others learn. I believe more than I do the investigation itself. That, um, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love to go on a good investigation, but, but when I can sit there and teach people and, you know, research ideas and that, that is my happy place. Well, you know, I have been speaking with people as have you for years and there are actually normal university classes, not just the Ryan Institute and places of that nature, mm -hmm. but mainstream colleges who are accepting and seeking paranormal, I'm sure they're not calling it paranormal, but, but paranormal classes. Mm -hmm. And I've mm -hmm. had, I've often thought that you should approach, I mean, we live in a town that has so many universities, you should approach some of them and you know, bring your parapsychological ideas to them and present them in that way. I think that would be fun. It, um, you, you know, I actually wouldn't mind doing that. That, that is something I, I need to, to check into. Um, and, and I think something that I really enjoy is, you know, showing people, okay, you've seen what's on TV. You see what's in the movies. Okay. Now here is how it really goes. This is, you know, these are the misconceptions. This is, you know, and, and kind of clearing that water because, because there is such a difference in paranormal pop culture and actual paranormal research. Um, you think? You know, that's something. Oh, yeah. We, <laughs> you know, that's something I know we've talked about so often. And, and, you know, it, it's funny because that's, well, well, that's like, you know, the past two nights in a row I've got to investigate alongside you. And, you know, it it still feels like I haven't got to talk to you enough because we're <laughs> we're all the time. You're you're one of my um favorite outlets for getting some of these ideas out and saying, Hey, what do you think of this? You know you know, you're 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 a great sounding board for me to balance across some of these wacky ideas I get. Well, you know, when my eyes cross, it's a little bit too deep, though. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's, well, well, I believe that. I believe I was just telling you yesterday that, you know, you you get this stuff a lot more than I think even you realize. Well, I've actually had a very good teacher, and I appreciate that. Thank you. One of the things that I found is I don't have to... Google some of the terminology anymore. Mm -hmm. I found that to be true with um, Keku's writings as well. So I'm starting to get the hang of some of this stuff. I love what we do. I, I mm -hmm. think that helps to be able to absorb it a little better because it's a topic I enjoy greatly. One of the things that mm -hmm. I like the best about our conversations is that you are science-based. Mm -hmm. Almost entirely. You're a little, you've lightened up a lot. I always joke about, <laughs> yeah, seriously, I always joke about you, you know, smudging that attic for me because I couldn't reach, but you've, you know that that works at times. And if nothing else, it's a palliative or it will just help with the mindset either way. And you're open right. to things like that. You're not just so locked in, you can't conceive, you know, you won't open up a little bit to that and you take right, me to the science, but you've taken me to the science side a lot more mm -hmm. because there's room for both in this study well definitely you know well when you when you think about the spiritual side of it um you know a lot of people say well that's a completely intangible subject you can't you can't study it because you can't take it in a lab and 
you know, measure it and get those quantitative results. But the thing of it is, what we're ultimately studying, uh, especially when I'm at it, you, you know, I tend to stay more on the parapsychology side of, side of the house. And what, you know, when you think of it, essentially, what are we studying? We're studying human consciousness, how it reacts with the environment, how it reacts with other forms of consciousness, how it responds to energy, how energy and environments respond to it. And a huge part of that human consciousness, you know, is the spiritual side. It, it doesn't matter how we're looking at it, you know, whether I'm saying, okay, well, this is the mind working at what's the alpha waves of this frequency, the beta waves are here and, you know, are, if I'm saying, yes, this person's having a spiritual experience, we're, we're describing the same thing. So it is absolutely um, relevant. Yes, it is. And so few people actually will pause to contemplate that. What do you find is the best way to get that across to people that just won't bend? Or do you just want well, to you know, I, I I tell people all the time that, you know, whether you're talking about research, comprehension, just anything, 99% of any situation is your mindset. You, you pick whether you're, you know, whether, whether your day is going to be a good one or a bad one. You pick whether the glass is half full or half empty. You, I mean, all these are choices you make um, how you choose to interpret information is up to you and perspective I, I want you to think about this Kev um, say me and you are staring at a house that you know maybe maybe it's one we've never seen before but you know we're looking at it and I'm standing in the front yard looking at this house well you're standing in the backyard looking at it and we try to describe to each other the house we're looking at. Well, I'm going to say, you know, if I'm in the front yard, I'm going to say, well, you know, it's, you know, uh, got the windows with the, it's got four windows across the front with shutters. It's red door, um, a little stoop at the front. Um, and, um, you know, there's a couple of, uh, of shrubs around the front door or shrubs around the door here and a sidewalk going up to it. Whereas you're going to be saying, I don't see any of that. I see a patio back here with some, some French doors going out onto it. There's about five windows and there's a garage to the side. Which one of us is right? Exactly. Perspective. So mm -hmm. that's, you know, and that's something that so many people fail to realize. And the only way that you can see it my way is if you're willing to give a little bit to walk around to the front and look at it from the same angle, same with me. I don't walk around to, the back to see what you're seeing. And when you get that whole picture, then we're talking about the same place. Absolutely. And, and it's very much that way in any field of research. Which, thank goodness, right? We need that. Uh -huh. Yes. And, well, you know, and a lot of people, when when you say, um, you know, when you tell people that, you know, you tend to be more scientific, they, a lot of people kind of have a negative connotation in their mind already when, when you tell them that because they think, oh, he's a debunker. And no, that's not true. Paranormal activity is very real. It happens all the time. But the difference is, um, I, you know, I don't even like the word debunk. Um, because to me, when, when I hear debunk, I'm automatically thinking, okay, well, they had to debunk it because somebody was trying to fool someone else. Or, you know, there's kind of has that connotation to it. Um, you know, I, I like to say explain for right. that reason. Because... You know, if I go out with the mindset of I'm going to debunk what's going on here at this house, then that that sounds like me saying, well, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to show them where it's.